412-333-WXDX if you want to play Are You Smarter Than right now. Uh, we're going to open up the phone lines as we speak for you to try to get tickets to go see UFC at Consol Energy Center. We are going to play Are You Smarter Than the Girls of Miss Steel City. Danielle and Stephanie join us right now on 105.9 The X. They have made the trek in. Tell us about Miss Steel City. Where does it take place? Are you guys both part of it? And uh, where can people go to see the activity tonight? Because it's changed, right, Stephanie? It has changed. Let's, why don't you pull the mic close to you here? All right. It's going to be taking place tonight at District 3, um, upstairs in the south side. Admission is $10. All um, proceeds go to Eric Cook. It's for a pancreas transplant. Um, the show starts at 9. We crown Miss Steel City at 12. We have a huge after party starting at midnight with Click Vodka. Tons of giveaways. Um, and Danielle here is one of the models. I'm running the event. We have tons of performances all night with our headlining um, act, Bay Mystery and Sneak, who just got signed with RBC Records. Danielle, how do you feel about your chances to win Miss Steel City. What do you think you will do to need to win Miss Steel City? <laughs> well, if I'm in the top five, I have to answer some type of crazy question. Oh, like the ones you're about to answer right now. Well, Maybe a little more so. personal. Are you good at spelling? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. When you spell, <laughs> are you better at spelling in your bikini? <laughs> Yes. Is there a bikini yeah. competition? Yes. Swim, yes. Swimsuit yes. competition? That starts at nine. Evening gown competition? Uh, little black dress. Little black dress competition. Is that before or after the jello wrestling? That's mm -hmm. after the jello wrestling. That's quite the evening. Yeah, we want them to be sticky during the little black dress part. <laughs> you always do. Come on. <laughs> Danielle's only looking at her like half confused. I know. <laughs> she Am gave I going to be surprise. sticky tonight? She gave her the look like, oh, you didn't tell me there was jello wrestling, but I can do jello right. wrestling. Oh no, same old thing every weekend. St <laughs> sticky weekend. Sticky little black dress again. The cleaners are so sick of this routine. They're going to start to talk. I will right, we'll open up the phone lines, and if you want to play Are You Smarter Than, you can right now. You get tickets to go see Joe Rogan on the 25th of June, and then the UFC event itself on the 26th. Just for playing, you get a copy of the new Deathlehem CD. They are debuting the CD this evening, so you can go to the Miss Steel City event, and then go over to see Deathlehem at the Smiling Moose just down the road on the south side as well. 412-333-WXDX, the first caller in gets to take part in Are You Smarter Than the Girls of Miss Steel City here on 105.9 The X. It is The X Morning Show. It's 105.9 The X on a Friday in the 9 o'clock hour. That means it's time for Are You Smarter Than. It's our cheap rip-off knockoff of Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader. Danielle and Stephanie, the girls of Miss Steel City, are joining us on 105.9 The X to play the game. More details on Miss Steel City to come here on The X Morning Show, but it's tonight, 9 o'clock on the south side. If you want to go check it out, sponsored by... Click Vodka. You know, you probably know how the game works by now, as I mentioned. Just like Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader? Although to say these are 5th grade level questions might be an insult to 5th graders across the nation. <laughs> um, we've got, I think, a contestant on the line ready to go. Lee, Lee, where are you calling from? I am calling from uh, work in my basement. You work in your basement? Yep. What do you do for a I'm living? I'm a serial killer. <laughs> I went to serial killing school to get that degree. Don't mock it. I'm making dresses out of human skin. Uh, Lee, you are playing against the two girls from Miss Steel City. Hopefully, somewhere down the line, you can make clothes out of their skin because it's definitely <laughs> worth looking at. <laughs> Stephanie and Danielle are your opponents, and we're going to let them go first since they made the effort to come in and you haven't even left your basement. So, ladies, <laughs> you get question number one. And in honor of Memorial Day, since we are honoring... Recently, our nation's war dead. We're going to go back in history here. I spent a lot of Memorial Day traveling through Fayette County. All right, so I was in Fayette County doing the whole, you know, rustic throwback camping thing. And one Get back place, to nature. One place I saw was Fort Necessity. The Battle of Fort Necessity in Fayette County was an early battle of what war back in the year 1754? Uh, that would be... No, no, I said the girls. No, 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 no. I said the girls. You're too busy sewing the skin together. Hang tight together. in your basement there. <laughs> Ladies, do you know? You get to steal, Lee, if they get it wrong. So, uh, Ladies, do you know? Draw on a blank. That's a pretty good question. But... Take a guess at any war that America has ever been in. Or maybe even pre-America has ever been in. World War One. <laughs> yes, the Battle of World War One. Look at them holding hands like they're the super twins, and they're trying to get powers. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Like, did you form of an ice bridge, <laughs> shape of a monkey, form of a history book? <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. World War One was not fought in Fayette County. Mm. Uh, do you know Lee? Would you like to steal? 
And uh, what was the year again? 1754. Uh, the War of Independence? The War of Independence! <laughs> By that, do you mean the Revolutionary War? Yes. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> it was not the War of Independence. No, Lauren, it wasn't the Civil War either. <laughs> you tried to look so smart in the corner, our intern got it wrong too. Uh, it's the French Indian War. It was an early battle of the French and Indian War. <laughs> All right, so now you get to go first on this one, Lee. And uh, Lee, in honor of the spelling bee, the Scripps Howard spelling bee, which was held yesterday, we're going to have you spell words that our intern Lauren can't spell correctly, okay? okay? Lauren's day job, or in this case, night job, is at the bottle shop in Bridgeville. And these are words that she spells wrong all the time, according to her. So Spell shop. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> No, 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 no. Kidding. Lee, spell jalapeno. Jalapeno. J-A-L-E-P-N-O. That is incorrect. <laughs> you have to sit on the failure couch. Ladies, how about you? Can you spell jalapeno? Can you steal for a point? J-A-L-E-P-E-N-O. That's what he just said. <laughs> you just spelled exactly the same thing that he spelled. <laughs> Someone got an F in spelling and at least a D minus in listening. Pays attention, N A. <laughs> N needs improvement. Right. <laughs> the answer is Lauren. You spell it. J A L P E N O. No, you forgot the other A. <laughs> no, there's J. It's not jalapeno. Jalapeno peppers? It's a jalapeno. <laughs> So when you've gotten it wrong to the cooks in the past, they've never corrected you? No, they just laugh. <laughs> they just laugh and smoke another joint. All right, ladies, you get to spell first this time. Uh, again, in honor of the Scripps Howard Spelling Bee and words that Lauren spells wrong when she's at the bottle shop, spell sauerkraut. S. They're still holding hands. They are. Huh? Go ahead. Uh-uh. S-O-U-R-K-R-A-U-T. That is incorrect. Oh, freak. freak. Should have listened to your better half there. Uh, Lee, can you steal? Again, with UFC tickets on the line here. Go ahead, Lee. S-A-U-E-R-K-R-A-U-T. That is correct. Way to go, Lee. You oh, Danielle, were... you had it, didn't you? All right, now, Lee, you can put this away here if you get the uh, question correct here. The question is U.S. government, okay? We've had a lot of fun with Congressman Anthony Weiner from the House of Representatives in New York. He's the one that uh, tweeted a picture of his junk, apparently. Within 10, tell me how many members there are to the for the House of Representatives. Actually, I'll, I'll do it this way. Whichever gets closer, all right? Whichever gets closer, you or the girls, you get a point, all right? So how many members are there for the House of Representatives? 235. 235. Ladies, what's your guess? Is if Lee gets it right, or if Lee gets closer... Can I they... use my lifeline? Yes, your lifeline. I have a congressman on my lifeline. <laughs> your lifeline is Sauerkraut <laughs> Saul. <laughs> You've got a spell wrong in your phone. I don't know. What do you think? 232? Sure. 232? Sure. Okay. Uh, you're trying to split the difference in hopes that it's like 233? Maybe. It's actually a good move. They either went over or under. The Kinda answer like the price is... is right here. I'd like $1. 435. Oh you with, picked the other way. With six non voting members. So that means, Lee, congratulations. You're going to see UFC. You're going to see Joe Rogan. <laughs> and you're getting a Deathlehem CD. Way to go, Lee. Congratulations. Oh, Wait, Danielle, how many no! did you think there were? Danielle here. Thought there was 14. <laughs> 14 members of the House of Representatives. It's going to be a very tight vote here in the House. So basically, it's the 13 colonial states, and who gets the other one? Uh, Texas. At the Revolutionary War. <laughs> right. That guy from Fort Necessity. <laughs> That guy being George Washington. But I don't think he's around anymore to vote. <laughs> All right, Lee, way to go. You're going to see the uh, UFC fight. Enjoy at Consol Energy Center. Give us a call on uh, Monday, the day after, and let us know how it goes, okay? Will do. Thank you. All right, that's how you play Are You Smarter Then? In this case, I really hope you are. It's 105.9 The X.